Good morning. It's makeup time. Putting your mask on on purpose. Mm -hmm. let's, so let's talk about the difference between unconsciously wearing mini mask and wearing some mask on purpose. Should we make that a theme of today's vlog? What do you think, Davina? Davina's like, what's a mask? <laughs> what's a mask? I'm just myself whenever and wherever I'm at. I don't need to wear a different mask for different environments. Did you have any cool dreams last night? I don't know if I remembered my dreams too much. Mm -hmm. Did you? Just my last one. What was the last one? Would you like to share? No. Would you like to share if I turn the camera off? How, did you see how Devina feels about that? She's like, oh, secrets. <laughs> She's like, Devin, they learned about the secrets and not having secrets. <laughs> mm, my goodness, you are my sweetie. <laughs> Deanna, why is it that when you came over, the birds? You did that. Yeah, you did that, I was here Daniel. chilling with the birds. It. Hey, tell it. You tell us about your history. I'm gonna blame you tell us about blaming your history. always works. Tell us about your history. Do some of you guys remember my Ray Pete days? Ray Pete is allegedly some like nutrition guy that recommends a lot of coffee and like, organic ice cream and high altitudes and even Coca-Cola. Um, so this is my Ray Pete. I used to, I actually haven't looked up too much into him, but when we switched our diet from raw vegan to like a more intuition diet, intuitive diet, a lot of people was like, are you following the Ray P diet? And I was like, uh, sure. That, so I don't really know what the Ray P diet is, but a lot of people think I follow it. But I think it involves a lot of ice cream and coffee and like fun foods. I think it's sugar and, sugar and fat right, or something. There we go. All right, and then I'll let uh, Davina have a little lick for fun. Is that he's the one giving you all the dairy. Oh, this is, see, you're taking over my camera. Are you trying to get back to me in my pet comment? Yeah. No revenge necessary. Well, it's not revenge. Unconditional love. Uh, we'll, we'll take care of it. What do you think about how green that grass is? What do you think, Deanna, about how green that grass is? Oh, yeah, look at this. Mmm. You have such a nice body and a good walk. The way you walk, wow. You got a little pity. And then Davina, you, got, you get to learn that from your mama how to walk. It's growing on me. The freezer isn't as necessary around here. Oh, that's one thing about this place. The Marin, I guess because they're the water they use. I guess for this area in Marin, they use the water, the reservoirs and the lakes for the drinking water. So people are not allowed to get in. And although I believe in breaking the rules the right way, I don't know if that's the right way to break the rules. So that's kind of a deal breaker. The freezer is such a great substitute in the meantime, such a great substitute. But um, I, this town really, it's the fresh water, getting in the fresh water, oh, man. I bet before those waters were unprotected, people were celebrating here even more with this setup. Oh, I mean, look at it. Sun. Mm. Come and give your lover a kiss. Your goose. Mm. <laughs> Check this baby out. We're making Probably her. Notice on our vlog is that I always seem to what? I told you I would do that one. You're just wanting that walk to get even sexier, aren't you? Uh, I'm definitely utilizing it that well, behind the, when, yeah. when I'm walking behind you, I get even more turned on. Yeah, maybe you do that. <laughs> yep, this is the food Deanna's prepared for me this evening. And um, so thankful for it. I'm so thankful that I have such not only a, a beautiful wife, a beautiful mother to my child, a beautiful healer, a beautiful camera woman, and all so much more. And I mentioned this on my Instagram story, and Deanna, if you have anything to say about it as well. Um, I, if anyone wants to experiment, I'm, we're, I'm feeling this idea of exploring with 
going because y'all, many of y'all know we've been doing I've been doing retreats for a while with many people and having many breakthroughs like look at the people that have gone on the retreats before and after I'm curious what would happen if someone lived with us for a few days maybe a day to a few days to a week and like we hyper focused on them they joined me on my rituals joined Deanna on some of hers and they went all in on like an immersive personal retreat experience if that would interest you please let me know you can put it in the comments or maybe if it is really interesting you, go ahead and email me or through my website breakingnormal.com do you have anything to add to that yeah what do you think what's what's on your mind about that what do you think someone's it's not for the faint of heart someone that would be for someone that really wants transformation and what would be I, my what i would imagine the result would be it would be from someone that's a little like feeling a little timid in the crowd to going to owning the stage with their gift and maybe they might not even know what their gift is but that's what could be the outcome they not only discover their gift but they're willing to own it mm -hmm. and another outcome might be from someone feeling like alone and a victim to their culture to like a creator of communities like they wherever they go they create a community or design a tribe and break normal so if that interests you let me know <laughs> bon appetit